filthy. First proper ride after the paint job, and that happens. Is that a question for all of you? Ultra cycling related video. Not what I planned today, but oh well. If you watched any previous ones, then thanks a lot for coming back. If this is your first visit, my name's Andy. I'm an ultra cyclist on the south coast of England. Videos I'm making about ultra cycling, training, and adventures. So subscribe and follow along. A bit out of breath right now. Climbing Portstown Hill to the meet point of my cycling club. I had planned quite a long ride today, but I had to change last minute. I'll explain why. And sometimes, no matter how hard it is, you've got to take your own advice. Anyway, I'm running pretty late, so let's get up this hill, go for a fast ride. Let's go.
great descent. A stone hill again. So good. About halfway through the club right now. I've been at my max heart rate for quite a lot of this. Whoa. And we're in Petersfield. And recover. These club rides are really good for fitness. I'm gonna be hurting after this. Bye! <sighs> Jesus, that's horrible. So close to the cafe now. Just to descend all the way to the pub. I'm absolutely pooped. Oh! <sighs> that was a hard ride. It's been probably, I felt like almost all of the ride at my max heart rate. I thought my max heart rate was 181, and apparently not. Looks like my max heart rate is more like 185. That's good fun. I know not every, everyone is into club riding. Most of us endurance riders prefer riding alone. But that will get you fit. I just get a puncture and plugged it. And that's motivation to clean the bike. It is absolutely covered in sealant. Filthy. First proper ride after the paint job, and that happens. That's another training ride in the books. And I think as you're watching this, it should be a couple of days before my race. So, feeling pretty good right now. It's two weeks away, less than two weeks away as I'm recording it, but I don't think it'll be going out straight away. <clears throat> anyway, decent ride. Got my legs ripped off for a few hours, so I thought I'd get out for a walk and stretch my legs. And the view could be a lot worse. I had a question for all of you. Best thing about this channel, I found, I feel like I'm helping people where I can, but it's a two-way thing, and a lot of the comments I get helping me to make changes to my setup and improve the way I do things. And my specialised is tubeless. And my plan was to put my mason to tubeless, set up my mason tubeless for the TCR. I don't think I've had the best time with tubeless on the specialised. Had a puncture today. It was the first ride since I got that bike painted, so. I don't really want to be getting it covered in crap. It's absolutely caked in tubeless sealant. I know that's one of those subjects. A lot of people will say it's rubbish full stop, but I'm interested to know if you use tubeless, what works for you? What's the most reliable setup you found? I'm thinking of going 32 mil because of the pressures. So 32 mil, currently 28 on the Specialized, and doesn't seem to hold the pressure that well. So yeah, before I make the plunge, let me know what you do, what works for you. Anything constructive would be really helpful. So yeah, exciting times, as I mentioned. As you're watching this, I'm probably almost on my way to Sheffield to get started for all points north. And things might get a little bit bitty after that. Lots of content to film during the race, and I will film it, but how long it takes me to edit that and get it out, I'm not sure. So I'm gonna to try to make much better use of Instagram. So if you're not already following me on there, and not very many people are, and I put the handle up and give us a follow on there because I'm gonna try to do some live updates throughout the race, um, stories, pictures, uh, give some live updates as I go. If anyone's interested in how that goes, I'm really excited for it. 
feeling pretty fit and my goal is just to make myself proud so, so let's see what I manage I feel like I did pretty well last year but I think I can do much better this year I mentioned earlier about taking my own advice and I had a bit of a worrying situation this week I did my Thursday training sessions two hours long and an hour of that is at threshold I did it on my specialized and I haven't ridden that bike for a while and afterwards started getting dodgy knee uh, so that's pretty worrying two weeks out from my race but I started to wonder if it's actually an issue with tendons like tendonitis in my knee that's what it felt like but I started to get some warning signs maybe it's a pinched nerve I started getting almost like a searing burning pain in my foot it's really odd no idea how that happened so I decided I work on my mobility my partner can give me some physio on my back and my neck do some stretching take some ibuprofen get an early night lo and behold work up today completely gone so my original plan for today was to do about five six hours try to do a big long effort sim similar to the kind of long efforts I'll be doing in the race and really didn't feel like pushing my luck I've done that enough in the past so I thought I'll do the club ride and ended up getting my legs ripped off for three hours not ideal but the point is I woke up this morning the pain was completely gone from my knee so yeah it helps to have been injured so many times and to go through the motions of all of that physio really helps if you subscribe recently this isn't the kind of content I normally make really walking around and vlogging yeah I said a couple of things I wanted to ask people and update you on so back to the standard transmission pretty soon find me on Instagram watch the race keep up to date if you're interested anyway have a good week I'll see you all in the next one.